My friends, I give a lot of pre-holiday messages. I don't really do a pre-Tisha B'Av message, but I feel, for me at least, this is the most powerful Tisha B'Av of my life. It's the post-October 7th Tisha B'Av. I never experienced something like this in my life. You know, we have this book uh, that we read on Tisha B'Av, and it has so many horror stories in it. I mean, we go from the destruction of the first temple to the second temple, to the destruction of Betar. Yeah, we've had a lot of destructions. We go through the difficult times of the Ten Martyrs with Trajan Hadrian, and we even have special prayers written by great rabbis to honor the six million that died. And so everything's in the book. So I'll tell you what, when I was growing up, I read this book, and I read this book every year and even last year, and it's the book. It starts with the destruction of the first temple, and it ends with the Holocaust. And there'll never be any more pages added to it, because that's our story. It started, and it ends, and now it's only amazing. And yet, October 7th, and yet this Tisha B'Av, we're actually going to add, to my greatest shock, more pages to this sad book, as tonight we'll be reading prayers for October 7th, New Lamentations. You know, I thought that, you know, what, what can be the message? I'm a positive guy in general, right? What, what's the positive message on Tisha B'Av? And so I'd like to share with you an idea. Because the book of, this book, the book of Eicha, Starts off, Eicha Yashvavadad. How can it be that Yerushalayim dwells alone? And yet we see in the Torah, when Bilam is blessing the Jewish people, he said, you guys, Hain Amlevadad Yishtan, you're a nation that dwells alone. It's an amazing compliment. So are we alone and it's sad, or are we alone and it's happy? And I think deep down we know the answer to this question. Rabbi Reisman has a beautiful idea. Rabbi Reisman says that, when you're alone and no one's supporting you and no one gets you and no one's there for you, that's an alone that's painful. But there's an alone that's positive. When you see a young couple at a, at a large Shabbos table and they're speaking to each other, they're newlyweds, and they're alone and nothing else matters, nothing else is going on. That's an alone that's powerful. You know, I recently had an alone that's powerful because I, I went to a friend, Shiva, and uh, there he is, sad, he lost his dad. And then when he saw me and I saw him, it's like, yeah, I'm alone, but I'm alone with you. And so let's this Tisha B'Av. I think that will be the most participated Tisha B'Av in my lifetime. Let's make a decision that this Tisha B'Av, let's be alone. But let's be alone together. My friends, everyone should have a meaningful and powerful Tisha B'Av. We're davening at the center at 840, wherever you are in the world, make it to a synagogue and be together with your fellow brothers and sisters. Have a meaningful tissue.